Hey team, Lieutenant General Scott Spellman here, 55th Chief of Engineers. We're coming to you today from the field from Buckley, Washington on the White River at the Mud Mountain Fish Passage Facility. I'm here with the great commander of our Seattle District, Colonel Xander Bullock and Miss Leah Honstein, our project manager. Xander, can you talk a little bit to the team about the importance of this project to the, uh, to the region? Absolutely. Sir, it's hard for me to overstate the importance of this facility to the local tribes. This being the largest fish passage facility in the United States represents a commitment of our nation to the nations in the region of the Muckleshoot and Puyallup and the other tribes and the health of the fish. This is a facility that saw surges of pink salmon and other salmon that could not pass upstream and allowed our flood, pa our flood mitigation facilities to significantly damage the local population. With the, with the opening of this facility, um, as directed, on time and on budget, using great risk management, which we'll talk about in a minute, it has enabled the fish to pass through the flood mitigation facility in a healthy manner. Up to 1.2 million pinks a year, over 50,000 of eight other species of salmon will do a great deal to reinvigorate the salmon population in the Sound, assist the southern resident killer whale, and increase the overall environment and economy of the region. Xander, thank you. We certainly, we greatly appreciate your leadership uh, on this project. Leah, I use this project as an example of what right looks like when it comes to risk-informed decision-making. So can you talk to the rest of the team a little bit about how you manage risk on this one-of-a-kind project? Sure. Thank you, sir. Methodically, um, we have a methodical method to both discuss risk, communicate risk, and then get buy-in from leadership on the risks that we are taking on this project. And we talk about risk both in terms of schedule, meeting our schedule objectives, and meeting our budget objectives. We've had different strategies depending on what phase of the project that we're in, um, but overall we use a risk matrix um, to uh, outline what our assumptions are, to outline what the different risk categories are that we've thought through in our different courses of action. And then when it comes to cost and the construction phase, um, we get a coordinated team together, so key members from our PDT, to talk about the different courses of action, what the risk categories are, come up with a recommended solution, and then brief that recommended solution to leadership so that we can get buy-in and get the top coverage that we need to move out and execute the project. Yeah, thank you. Your leadership has been equally critical in delivering this project, so I want to say thanks. We say our vision in the Army Corps of Engineers is to deliver uh, quality projects on time within budget, but we also want to ensure we are engineering solutions to our nation's toughest challenges, and you have certainly done that here. Leah, Xander, thanks for all you do. Thanks, sir.